right, we are rolling. So uh, before we begin, can I take your hat or your touch it? Touch it and die. Okay. Well, to start off, why don't you tell us your story? Exactly what happened while you were out there? Well, my parents just got divorced, and my dad lives down in Canada, so I was in a plane on my way to stuff to like see him. And that's when it all happened. Hey, Nancy? Yeah? Gonna shut the camera off. Great. And so that is why you always have to know how to treat a heart attack. Yes, sir, it could happen to anyone at any time. Sure, it's more likely with old age, but it could happen to anyone. Yep. The first thing you do to, would be to get them to a hospital. But if you can't, then you have to perform CPR immediately and give them mouth to mouth and pump their heart back. Sweet. God! Oh my God! My chest is coming out! My God! Sir, sir, are you okay? Are you okay? Sir! Pity him. Now, I needed, I know I needed two things to survive. I needed food and shelter. Let's start with shelter. Now, when you're building a shelter, And I only use my hatchet and some twigs. Da 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 da. Now that night I encountered a dangerous animal. A very, very dangerous animal. Now you see. Now, it was painful, but it wasn't all that bad. Now, through this experience, I learned the secret to fire. Now, see, when you take a hatchet and you rip off the hatchet, Once I had fire, it was pretty good. Now I could keep predators away, bugs away, I could see at night, you know, I could cook food. And then I found a really lucky find. It all seemed downhill from there. For all I can 
can say that happened next is ew. Now this guy. Hey, those are my eggs. Press <laughs> After that, I smelled pretty bad, but the good times overruled the bad times. Because later that day, I got myself my first meat. Now those guys, they were pretty good. Blessed birds. <laughs> no, a couple days went by just like that. I had my food, aka bird, and my heat, and then something else hit. Something very, very deep. After that, I knew how to get out of there. But that's when I just remembered that there was a survival kit in the tail end of the plane. So I knew I had to go diving. Now see, you have no, like, air tanks. <gasps> <gasps> Pencils. Later. Box. There's more. Food. Oh my god! You can't turn on a radio transmitter? 